All right, so let's talk about this weekend's game, and and this is one that I am I'm excited for. I am truly I I cannot wait to see this. Uh, the Pirates of Whitworth are going to pay a visit, as we've already mentioned. Uh, Whitworth has a high powered offense. They are averaging forty eight point two points per game. Mm. Whoo! I think weather is going to be a factor this weekend, and I'm just kind of curious what what your game plan is going to be for with the weather out there. You know, going into the game, Lacey, like we said, um, we we both like to throw the football, and so that's going to be a tough deal when it comes to the rain. But I think what we have other over teams is the fact that we have the mental game, and what that mental game is is the fact that we are going to focus on the fact that we just get to play football on Saturday. It doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, you know, 50-mile-per-hour winds. We're just happy to be out there. And so we are looking so much forward to playing on Saturday, whether it rains, whether it's sunny. And that's what we're going to be focusing on. Um, and my father, you know, again, Scott Westerning, talked a little bit about last night at our night practice that the weather will affect them. They don't quite have the mental game that we do. And so we have a lot of passing plays put in the offense – we're still going to throw the ball no matter what. As last year, nine games, we played nine games last year. Seven of the nine games were played in rain. So quick inside perspective, a lot of the receivers this week aren't wearing gloves. It's been pretty nice uh, other than starting today. We're not wearing gloves because we're getting prepared for that rain. That way, we, when it again, it's supposed to rain. When it does rain on Saturday, we're ready to catch the football. There's no excuses. And so I think if the rain's going to affect anybody, not to be too overconfident here, but I think it's going to affect Whitworth Lacey over us. You know, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting matchup. I want to see how, how these teams affect or how these teams are affected by that weather. The cold weather throwers, guys like Costal. Um, I think we're going to see also a lot more Cole Chandler because of the weather this weekend. I don't think with John's leg, and I don't think we may see a lot of John Schaub this weekend in the inclement conditions. But Costal is averaging 397 <laughs> passing yards a game. That Woo! Is, that's, <laughs> that's the quarterback for Whitworth. Abbasin. Yeah. And, Around uh, 400 yards per game. And their uh, running back leads the league bad. in rushing touchdowns with 11 this season. So what I'm guessing is they use Costal to get all the way down the field and then uh, Duke uh, DeGancio to uh, punch, it in at the, uh, punch it in at the very end. Uh, we're going to see who can throw the ball in the cold weather. Uh, I think that uh, POU has a much more diverse running game than Whitworth does. Um, I think Whitworth has a much more potent passing game than POU does. I think the um, PLU defense is better. So uh, in the weather at home, I take the PLU defense every day of the week and twice on Sunday. PLU wins, let's say, 10-7. That sounds 10-7. About, that's, uh, <laughs> the weather will play that much of a role. I mean, yeah, when you want to when you want to throw the ball <laughs> about four for four hundred yards a game, fifty plus attempts, and you know, forty eight points, fifty points a game, and the wind's blowing at 50 miles an hour in your face or across the field, can you really get away with doing that? No. Well, yeah, well, yeah you, could, you could turn it into a bubble screen game if you'd like. But we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. But I don't want to throw a bubble screen in Travis McMillan's side, that's for sure. That is, that is for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we're going we're gonna to touch back on POU Volleyball real quick. This is Mass Radio Sports Talk presented by Three and a Half Athletes on Loot Air Student Radio.